Conductivity is a measure of water's ability to pass an electrical current. This ability is directly related to the concentration of ions in the water. Ions conduct electricity due to their positive and negative charges. Compounds that dissolve into ions are known as electrolytes. The more ions that are present in water, the higher the conductivity of the water. Likewise, the fewer ions that are in the water, the less conductive it is. Seawater, for example, has a lot of salt in it, so it has really high conductivity. Our streams, on the other hand, should have pretty low conductivity. So why does this matter? If organisms don't have enough time to adapt to changes in conductivity, they may be poisoned or die, which is kind of a bummer. So significant changes in conductivity can then be an indicator that a discharge or some other source of solution has entered that watershed. And that means that my office has to go investigate. So what impacts electrical conductivity in waters? So first, geology. As water flows, it passes over bedrock and soils. Rocks and soils of different chemical composition provide naturally occurring ions such as chloride, iron, or aluminum. So for example, if water flows over a bedrock of limestone, it tends to have a higher conductivity level because of the dissolved carbon materials leaching in from the bedrock. Also the size. The smaller the body of water, the larger the effect of conductivity influencing factors. So for example, take a small stream and a large stream side by side. On a sunny day, the sun exerts the same amount of heat and causes the same amount of evaporation from both streams. Yet, as streams heat up, the smaller stream's relative concentration of ions and water which evaporates become greater than the larger stream. Also wastewater. So wastewater from domestic or commercial property, industries, and agriculture can affect ion concentration and therefore conductivity levels. Even backwash from pools and hot tubs can affect conductivity, which tends to be a big cause around town. And then also bacteria. If soils are washed into water, organic material in the soil may be decomposed by normally occurring aquatic bacteria, causing an increase in bacterial waste and increased conductivity levels. Electrical conductivity is measured in microsiemens per centimeter. This is conductivity. One hundred seventy seven point one microsiemens per centimeter. So in this day, the library branch got a reading of one hundred and seventy seven point one. Typically in Chapel Hill, the normal ranges for conductivity are between 100 and 300. 500 or more tells us there may be a pollution source nearby, and 1000 or more is a big indicator. So what did we learn? Conductivity is a measure of a water's ability to pass electrical current. Uh, salts, aka electrolytes, in the water impact electrical conductivity because of their positive and negative charges. And we measure electrical conductivity uh, to give us clues in case some type of pollution is going into the stream. So really anytime our office suspects any kind of pollution issue, they always measure for conductivity because it can tell us a lot. So thanks for tuning into this video. Our next and final video in this series is going to be on turbidity.